My name is Austin Phillips. Uh, I am a Christian. Now there are many questions I would like to ask, but I know time will not permit. So, uh, most uh, can we have the most important question put? Yeah, the most yours. important question now I will ask is uh, what I com what comes to my mind right now is this: that the, that Islam uh, speaks about Jesus Christ. Islam uh, believes that Jesus Christ was. He doesn't believe that he died on the cross and he rose again from the dead, but it believes that he was raised up, Jesus was raised up uh, by God. It, uh, it, does, it also says that Muhammad was not raised up. I think I'm right. Somebody told me this. Muhammad was not raised up. Jesus was raised up. And one Muslim friend also told me that Islam believes that Jesus was born of a virgin and he was born by the power of the Holy Spirit. And he was not born in the natural way. Now this proves that Jesus Christ if he's not God, at least he's greater than Muhammad. Now why, why don't you consider, if you have the teachings of Muhammad, why don't you give the teachings of Jesus also, which are there in the Bible? Uh, can I put another question associated with that? Uh, it's from Harold Porter. He also asked, if you say that God is one, then how did Jesus Christ come into the picture? Because I asked a very good question. And these questions are mainly posed by the missionaries, Christian missionaries. I don't know whether he's one. And he gave some two, three examples that Islam speaks about Jesus Christ, may peace be upon him. And he says that the Quran says that Jesus Christ, may peace be upon him, was raised up alive. Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, was not. Jesus Christ, may peace be upon him, was born of a virgin birth. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam had a mother and father. Who's greater? The mind gives the answer. Who's greater? Jesus. And then he says, and there are many such questions. It also says, it says that Jesus Christ, may peace be upon him, is mentioned 25 times. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa only five times by name. Who's greater? And the post questions. The post questions are the Muslims. And our mind thinks, ah, who's greater? Jesus Christ, may peace be upon him. So he wants me to throw some light on Jesus Christ, may peace be upon him. Brother, Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes it an article of faith to believe in Jesus, may peace be upon him. No Muslim is a Muslim. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus, may peace be upon him. We believe that he was one of the mightiest messengers of God. We believe that he was born miraculously without any male intervention, which many modern day Christians do not believe. We believe. We believe that he gave life to the death with God's permission. We believe he heals those born and kind with God's permission. But there are parting of ways. We don't believe that he's God Almighty. We don't believe that he's the begotten son of God. We believe he is the messenger of God. Coming to your question, if the Quran mentions that Jesus Christ may peace be upon him, was raised up alive. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam died. Who's greater? Doesn't indicate that if there is someone after God, it has to be who? If someone has to slaughter someone. If someone has to sacrifice, we have to sacrifice the best person. And according to them, the best person is Jesus Christ, may peace be upon him. According to the Quran, he was not crucified. They killed him not, neither did they crucify him. We agree. But according to your Bible, according to, according to the false reading, the Bible also says he was not crucified, that the Jews crucified. Most of the people did not accept him to be a messenger of God Almighty. They went to extreme. Quran says, La Quran says in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 171, it says that, Ya Ahl al-Kitab, O people of the book, La taqlu fi dinukum, do not go to extremes in your religion. What extreme? Two extremes. Jews said he was an imposter, and the Christian said that he was God Almighty. Extreme. Speak not of God or but the truth. What? Speak the truth. There's only one God. He was raised up because there was misconception. In a second coming, he will not teach us anything new. Quran says in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 3, On this day have I perfected the religion for you, and have chosen for you Islam as the way of life. <laughs> the Muslim, we believe will come, but he will not teach us anything new. He will not teach us anything new. He will come to clarify the misconception. And he, and he will tell to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Allah bari ta'ala, you be my witness that I never told them to worship me. I never told them to call me the begotten son. He will come 
for the Christian, not for the Muslim. We believe he'll come. You say that he was born of virgin birth. If suppose, if suppose a person does not have a father and you claim because he doesn't have a father, he's God Almighty, Quran gives the answer in Surah Imran, Al Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 59. The similitude of Jesus in front of Allah is the same as Adam. They were created from dust and say, be it was. Adam may peace be upon him. Did he have a father? Adam may peace be upon him. He had no father. He had no mother. If you say a person does not have a father is God Almighty, Adam may peace be upon him is a bigger God. Your Bible, it's, it's, it's not the Quran, it's the Bible. Bible speaks about another superhuman, King Melchizedek. King Melchizedek. He had no ascent, no descent, no beginning, no end. He's bigger than even Adam may peace be upon him. See, the Quran gives the answer. Quran gives the answer. You say Jesus Christ may peace be upon him is mentioned my name 25 times. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa only five times. Why? Because there were allegations against Jesus may peace be upon him. There were no allegations against Muhammad may peace be upon him. And when the Quran was revealed, Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, was present. So if I have to address a person, I have to say he, the, O Nabi, O Prophet, I need not take his name always. But if I am referring to my friend who is not here, I have to take his name. That mistake was that. So since Jesus, may peace be upon him, was not there when the Quran was revealed, his name had to be taken. In that, in that way, Quran mentions the name of Musa alayhi salam one three two times. Does it mean he is greater than Prophet Muhammad and Isa alayhi salam both? No. Because they were not present, when any example is given of them, their name has to be taken. For a person who is present, the, the name need not be taken. I hope that answers the question.